Hi, and welcome to Body Image and Athletes, where I'd like to get into look into how some of the top performing collegiate athletes feel about expectations on how they look. Okay, so Preston, what sport do you play? I play cross country. And how long have you been running? I've been running since my junior year in high school. And has your body composition ever made you feel insecure within your sport? Uh, personally, I have never felt really insecure about my body, but I can see how other people would. Um, being a runner or a competitive runner, I guess, kind of encourages. Um, being skinny to a point for some people that it could be unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And where do you think this image of like the skinny runner comes from? Uh, I'm not sure if it really comes from a social pressure so much as a lot of times being skinny or lighter can just make you a, a more competitive athlete. Mm -hmm. So you think like coaching and science pushes that? Yeah. Um, I think our coach and most good coaches won't push to a point where, although it might make a better runner, it will also ultimately make like a less healthy individual. Mm -hmm. So I think there's kind of a balance between the two, I guess. Okay. And do you feel like the media covers professionals who are the ideal type and that influences a lot of people's mindset? Um, I think the media focus is not so much on the unhealthy look of a great runner. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to see an athlete on TV, it's more like a, a buff, I don't know, like a, a picture-perfect chiseled athlete. It's not really a, a skinny cross-country runner. Yeah. And do you feel like that's an unfair image that's displayed or expected? Uh... No, I don't. I don't think so because it is, that is an attractive person. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't really change that. And um, runners are competitive because they they love running. They don't really care so much about how they look. And now to get a different perspective, I'm here with Caroline. Um, and what sport do you play? I run cross country and track. Okay. And how long have you been running? Since seventh grade. And has your body composition ever made you feel insecure within your sport? Um, yeah, I just think that I'm definitely not as skinny as a lot of the other girls that I see running. And when do you notice that most? Um, I mean, this season I've noticed it a lot at our competitions. We're racing against some of the best runners in the country, and they're definitely very fit. And... What do you think contributes to this ideal image of the skinny runner? Um, I think on one hand, the skinnier runners are the ones you see winning races. Um, they have a lot more success, and so you want, you know, you want to win and you want to be skinny because they seem to go hand in hand. And then there's also the fact that society kind of praises the really skinny toned runner a lot. And do you think that media or people in general enforce an unrealistic ideal body image for athletes? Um, I think so. I think that you don't see a lot of diversity um, in media when it comes to like body types and athleticism. All right. Well, thank you for your input. Anytime. Oftentimes, athletes are idealized, but they are under pressure for good performance and to also fit an image. Body image is different for everyone, and some sports and genders are more susceptible to these insecurities. While women tend to worry about weight more, men tend to worry about physique, and this shows that men battle with body image issues as well. While females are 10 times more likely to develop an eating disorder, men still struggle so this ideal image needs to change for all sports and all genders, and I hope it does.